Is the heir apparent exotic catalyst worth getting? Yes. And for those that have not gotten heir apparent, you can get it this year through Guardian Games. But yes, the exotic catalyst is dropping and you can actually get the exotic catalyst by turning metals into the Guardian Games podium. Now I'm being told that the higher tier metals are the ones you want to turn in to get the exotic catalyst. So like the gold metals and platinum metals. And the way metals work is like completing activities will give you a medal. I think you get like a bronze medal for completing strikes, a silver medal for completing completing nightfalls but when you also double stack them with these platinum cards and contender cards you'll be able to double up on your metal drops and that's how you get the gold and platinum medals and of course the triumphs themselves also drop medals now upon getting this exotic catalyst it will require you for your first step to earn 50 points by obtaining medals now the higher the tier of the metal the more points you gain and what we actually did after this point is we would get the platinum card nightfalls and just run the nightfalls over and over again and you don't have to do Grandmaster Nightfalls. Matter of fact, you don't even have to do Master Nightfalls in order to complete this card. We were speed running Hero and Legend Nightfalls, and that would actually satisfy whatever the requirement was on that specific Platinum card. And normally it would be something like do the entire Nightfall without getting killed, speed run the Nightfall, get final blows on enemies in that Nightfall, etc. You can only hold one of these cards at a time, but I highly advise to just farm Platinum as they count more for your class when you turn it into the podium and they count for more toward this requirement for this exotic catalyst and roughly speed running this nightfall which is inside terminus on hero as well as legend only took about seven to eight minutes now this is going to take you somewhere around four nightfall completions in order to satisfy this first step and if you plan on doing a bunch of platinum cards that's going to take you a lot of laurels now there's a lot of ways to get laurels my way our shadow thrall checkpoint in shattered throne find travelers chosen grab a grenade that has a time duration on it whether it's a vortex grenade a void wall grenade a pulse grenade a thermite grenade throw it at your feet clean up some thrall with your sidearm replenish your abilities rinse repeat now i know there are other ways in the past that would have worked things like sunspots acd feedback both of those methods essentially allow you to be afk and laurels would rain on you unfortunately they do not work neither one of those will spawn laurels upon getting a kill so for the most part you will have to be active in order to spawn these laurels by by occasionally throwing a grenade and replenishing your abilities. And I find that Travis Chosen is just the best sidearm here to do so. And by the way, for those that are wondering how to get the Shadow Throne checkpoint, come by my Discord. There's a lot of people already teaming up, trading the checkpoint back and forth to each other. But upon completing that first step, the second step will be to complete three contender cards. Now, these are not the platinum cards. The contender cards are actually the ones that reward you gold medals. Now, you can choose between either Strikes, Crucible, or Gambit. The Strikes kind of take a long time because the platinums they just want you really to complete the nightfalls and whatever kills you get along the way that and the completion would normally satisfy your platinum card but the strikes might actually take you two entire strikes in order to satisfy these contender cards for crucible it was about two games as well and i'm assuming gambit was probably two as well so keep in mind even though it says three go ahead and equate that in your mind to about six strikes six crucible games or potentially six gambit games and we were already at this point kind of burnt down on strikes so we just went ahead and did crucible gave us a little bit of a break from strikes to finish out this second step now the third step states that you need to collect competitive spirits by getting kills with machine guns in the daily focus playlist precision blows grant bonus progress now the daily focus playlist should change every day of this event and i'm assuming that's actually the playlist right there at the tower with the icon for guardian games now this may just stay as strikes the entire time but i'm also being told that the metal case which actually holds your medals will tell you what the daily playlist is mine was bugging out so it wasn't actually showing mine but at any point if you're wondering what the daily playlist is if yours is not bugging out it should be showing up there on your metal case for today though it was the guardian game strike playlist and honestly not even half a strike was satisfied this i went in there with the swarm got some precision final blows on some enemies and we have plenty of competitive spirits from just like half of this strike to satisfy this exotic catalyst quest step now the fourth and final step will be for you to get a total of 700 kills with air apparent now this quest step can take you a long time or it can literally take you like 10 15 minutes tops if you go to the right locations sure cheese pretty good sars harbor but for us shadow thrall is by far the best place for this they're so squishy they count for one kill it takes the bare minimum amount of heavy ammo to kill them and if you've got things like machine gun ammo finder on scavenger perks and i'm even rocking mine with actium war rig you could just sit there eat a bag of potato chips and shoot thrall 
all day long if you could juggle both of those at the same time. But 700 kills later, and voila, you will now have the heir apparent exotic catalyst. Now, this exotic catalyst actually states a couple of things. Number one, it increases the arc shield durability and partially reloads the magazine if it is destroyed. Now, this directly ties into the exotic trait of this weapon. Essentially, while aiming down sights or aiming, this will actually result in the weapon starting to spin. And during this process, you gain the trait armor of the Colossus, where at full health, spinning up the weapon will give you this protective arc shield. Now, one of the best ways to counter this arc shield is actually with an arc based weapon. A very similar mechanic to like PVE enemies. When you match whatever damage it is to your enemy's shields, it results in the shield bursting and doing a lot of damage to that enemy. The same thing applies here to air apparent and its arc shield. Matter of fact, the best counter to any air apparent inside of Crucible was just to do arc damage to it, which would result in the shield popping, which would result in the enemy either being one shot or dead. However, this exotic catalyst substantially buffs the shield strength here. And I'm talking four times the strength. And when we ran the damage numbers, what actually happened without the exotic catalyst, my reckless oracle was doing 12 damage per shot. But with the exotic catalyst, that would drop that damage down to a whopping three damage per shot, which is a whopping 300% increase in our shield strength. And even though it's not reflected, it's still the same amount of health, which is around 80 extra health. It's the strength of the shield that is to be noticed from this exotic catalyst. Now, arc damage still does more damage considering that your shield around you is an arc shield, approximately 67% more damage. But that really doesn't matter considering you just got a whopping 300% increase there in your shield strength, which is actually pretty nuts, guys. I mean, the things you can tank with this weapon, a full blast to the face from Bastion, a sleeper shot, Arbalest. We tried all kinds of things. and It was amazing to see how good Legion's bulwark is on this exotic catalyst. Now, as far as the auto reload feature, when your arc shield does actually break, air apparent auto reloads 100 rounds, which is actually pretty nice considering by the time you do get to the bottom half of that magazine, it is very likely, depending on whatever situation you're in, that your shield will pop, which is actually even more advantageous for you as it will auto reload a good portion of your weapon. Now, in order to actually spin air apparent and gain that arc shield, you have to have at least one round in your magazine. At zero rounds, you cannot charge that shield. So keep that in mind if you are trying to time that busted shield and that auto reload feature. And I do find that the reload speed on this weapon is pretty awful, which is why I always rock things like Actium War rig but that auto reloading trait for that exotic catalyst is a very nice touch here now for those that are wondering what exactly air apparent and its exotic catalyst can tank from exotics to heavy weapons to supers the next video will cover all of that we did extensive testing on a variety of things that everyone in the stream wanted to see weapons like eyes of tomorrow 1000 voices tractor cannon symmetry as well as a couple of supers just to showcase how strong air apparent and legion's bulwark actually is so be looking out for that one fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.